we are taking a look at the zygomatic bone now. So I'm just turning the skull to the side and I'm pointing out that this right in here is our zygomatic bone. So superior to the zygomatic bone, we have the frontal bone, which is making a connection right here behind the lateral aspect of your eye at its suture. From posteriorly, we have the temporal bone, and this is the zygomatic arch. We've previously discussed in the temporal, but there's a suture between this zygomatic and the temporal bone right here, partway along that zygomatic arch. And then towards the front, we have this as the maxilla, and there is a suture where the maxilla is meeting up with the zygomatic bone. And we haven't discussed too much, but deep inside the orbit, we have the sphenoid bone also meeting up with more of this medial side of the bone lateral orbit, but more anterior part of the zygomatic bone. So taking a look a little bit more specifically at these, each process that's named for the bone that it moves towards. So kind of the center here, you might call this the body. There is actually a foramen just on the side. So this is the zygomaticofacial foramen. And then as you go in each direction, there is a process named for what it articulates with. So posterior to it, we have this temporal process, which is meeting with a temporal bone. So we have the temporal process and the zygomatic process, temporal process, zygomatic process, these two make up the zygomatic arch, which we formerly talked about in the temporal bone. That arch is kind of made up in this raised area away from the skull that the muscle temporalis goes underneath and the muscle masseter is originating off below that. So this is the temporal process of the zygomatic bone. Superiorly heading up towards the frontal bone, this is the frontal process. So this portion here, lateral to your eye in orbit. If we go slightly inside of that, this is the orbital margin. In this case, the lateral, I'm going down a little bit inferior. This is all zygomatic bone. And this part of the bone right here, which is moving anteriorly, is the maxillary process. So this is being the maxilla, and this is the maxillary process of the zygomatic bone. There isn't a whole lot to the zygomatic bone, really just kind of the center of your cheekbone, and then a few different processes going in different directions. So that is all that we are going to be discussing today of the zygomatic bone.